my god, no way! <laughs> I saw him looking at my LinkedIn. I saved my whole life. Hi, I'm Wendy Clark. I'm the CEO of DDB Worldwide. I'm, I'm even dressed with my shirt so that you can recognize me and a little bit more <laughs> like easily. I am the founder and CEO of Make Love Not Porn, pro-sex, pro-porn, pro knowing the difference. I'm Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm the CEO of VaynerMedia. Hi, my name is Isaiah Mustafa. I'm an actor. How do you balance? You guys obviously do really creative work. You, you know, you make people talk. How do you balance that? People sometimes they think that what we do is risky. I think risky risk is um, uh, is relative. I think it's it's much riskier to do something flat and put a ton of money behind. Uh, and something flat usually uh, people are okay with doing, uh, believe mm -hmm. it or not, because they don't feel risk, right? Uh, but risk is relative, and sometimes doing something flat. It's the most risky thing you can do. My overall advice, um, Gabby, is that um, the amount you ask for in any performance pay review or you know job interview is the highest amount you can say out loud without actually bursting out laughing. One of the things to think a lot about, and this may even happen outside of your company or your agency, is the idea of how do you like really challenge yourself on coming up with ideas. What's your relationship like with the creative team? I love like working with creative because it's it's your idea. It's it's what you kind of came up with. So I'm just um, the vessel or the, or the the person who facilitates everything. It kind of just gets it gets it out so people can see it. So as as an actor, I really want to know exactly how you saw it when you thought of it and what and how you want me to portray it. And perhaps I can further validate you that those of us who've been working for almost 30 years and have built a career based on polish are trying to show much less polish now, more authenticity. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of people struggle with the idea of understanding the context of the media that's deploying your creative. A lot of creative is tone deaf to the distribution because a lot of times media and creative don't talk to each other in the modern ad world. And so yeah. the fact that you're thinking that way is really exciting. I do think positively, a lot of people are spending a lot more time on social media right now, right? That's how, mm -hmm. that's how we're feeling close. And this is your opportunity to completely represent your value um, in the context of what you want to do, because the opportunity is now there to do it in a way that it may not have been before. I think that the combination of you being obsessed and surrounding yourself with people that are like-minded and that also want to uh, be very ambitious when it comes to creative is the best um, advice for succeeding in our uh, in our industry. I mean, I have hindsight now, so I can look back on it. But before, what I would think was, I, I think I said this in an interview one time that that if I was just to be known as the old Spice guy, well, then that's better than being known as the guy that was sitting on the couch waiting for a job. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best version of an April Fool's surprise I've ever heard of. Thank you. It's great advice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time and for all of your great advice. I took plenty of notes and I'm very excited to run with it. I think you've given such good, I hope this is being posted somewhere because <laughs> I'm like, you said a lot of things that could help a lot of, especially young creatives. I hope you enjoyed this surprise.